K2, 1,000 meters men's final. And again, we have some top, top teams going forward in this one. Yeah, really a, a great uh, range of countries from uh, from around Europe and elsewhere. Uh, well, we all we have the Olympic champions. No double ups for a change. That's a that's a good what's a good thing for us to see. If a lot of countries, nine different countries from nine lanes, that's good. Yeah, for World Cups, for World Cups, as everybody knows, gets you can get two entries per country, so we often see two two entries in the same country. There's great the Brits in your picture. The yesterday in their semi to qualify for the, the A final. I actually saw the Brits yesterday after their after their semi and they were pumped. So hopefully they can pull something out here. And right next to the Germans, the world championships, world champions from last year, the young guys, Marcus Grossa and Max Renschmidt. And to round it all out, the Russians. That's the under 23 nine. Russian team, but they are off. Some good performances in Milano from the Italians. So don't count them out in lane eight. But uh, I think your, your race will be between the Olympic champions in lane four and the former world champions, reigning world champions in lane seven from Germany. Hungarians and the Germans. The French have also, been, Arnaud Ibois and Etienne Hubert have also been very, very strong. For well, they were the fastest Cup. finishers last week. They actually came in third and they're experimenting at the moment with different team selections. Yeah, Arnaud Ibois is a former a downriver paddler and I think vice world champion in downriver kayaking. And, uh, is also world champion in K2 200. I was about to say, did they, they race K2 200, those two, last weekend? Well, they're switching over. Today it's going to be Juve and Beaumont, and last week they're switching, but it's no reason they're just playing around. Ah, oh, right on. Germans looking really, really strong there in lane seven, as is to be expected from them, but the... Last weekend they went pillar to post. They were first to all splits. The Lithuanians, but the, the Brits and the uh, Germans here, leading it out. Haven't seen much from the Hungarians yet, but the stroke rate's very, very low, so... Still, uh, the K2 1000, as I learned last year, doing a little bit of K2, you step on the gas, the speed changes so much, and uh, it often comes down to the last 250 meters. Uh, and your picture, so Lithuania. Uh, I wouldn't count Hungary in lane four out just yet. But the Lithuanians, really, really impressive first, first 500 here. Yeah. They came second in the, they won the B final rather last year in the, in the Worlds. Really liking the colours of their boat there. It's quite what I'd choose myself, so I might, I might tip them for this race. Going through 500, we got Lithuania, France. I think that was Hungary coming through in third or fourth with the Germans and still in contention. Still quite in contention sitting in third or fourth. You could always expect a strong finish from both the Hungarians and the Germans. Still very relaxed composure from the French there. You can see their strokes are a little bit off, but uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not running the boat. Sometimes the air work is a little bit deceiving. As is the case here with the Lithuanian crew, you can see a little bit of a, uh, I wouldn't call it a limp, but there's uh, a little bit of a difference in the paddle angles, which isn't necessarily an indication of anything other than a difference in their technique. Still looking strong though. The Hungarians are pushing back a little bit now. And the Hungarians still looking very, very relaxed with 250 meters left. The Germans in very good position. I might say that the Lithuanians are starting to look a little bit fatigued. The look on uh, look on his face indicated to me that he was a little bit tired. And seeing a strong finish now from the Germans, it's a really tight race. Let's see if the Lithuanians can hold on for gold here. The a really, really strong first half, but it looks like the Germans, the Germans are coming are through. Now. The Germans, as you can see, their paddle angles are perfectly in tune, a little bit of rush from the back. Playing the French are pushing hard, really a little bit out of time, but they're, they're still moving real quick. Germany's coming through with 80 meters to go. Who's gonna take the second? Looks like Germany are really putting on the power, but France and still holding in there. And France, France and Germany. Let's see if Lithuania can hold on for a medal here. And they just nudge out Hungary. Olympic champions relegated to fourth place. Still a very, very tight race. An impressive performance from all crews. The, the French and the Germans take the top two spots. Too tight for us to call on that gold medal. They'll have to wait for the judges' official results. Max Renschmidt shaking his hand, head, not really sure. Well, in the world, they, had, they were down behind Belarus in the last uh, 250 meters and came through. They're being put down as the winner. It'll be a relief for Max to see that uh, that they're victorious because they. That's uh, three from three for the Olympic distances in the men so far for the Germans. Indeed. That is impressive. 
Well, Hungary have put 17 boats yesterday from the heats in the semi-finals into the finals, but Germany are dominating the men's event so far. And as they come up to the line... Oh! Not sure. I'm thinking France. Yeah. I'd call France, but we had the winners come up as Germany. We're not the judges, but not we're, not official judge yet. we're not the judges, but... And I have to say that the... Uh, the Germans didn't look too happy when they crossed the line. Um, I think Marcus Gross looks happier than Max Renschmidt, but he can't see. What's he saying? I think it was With German, so we've got no hope to figure out that. No, it was in German. <laughs> we'll hope to see some official results here from that very close race. Here we go. Bit of, bit of podium work for two Aussies. Official, in the France have the victory. Yeah, indeed, the, uh, the look on Max Renschmidt's face was 